Hello and welcome to a deck profile of my Kaguro deck. It's a fun deck and I'll show you why. Starting Vanguard. Wyvern, Kid, Ragla. Kind of last one, Generation Break 1. Put into Salt. Choose one of your opponents, grade one or less for your guards, and retire it. So you can kill off those starters or the more important cards if ever there's something more important than a the starter. Then, Strides are... Two, Zam, Zarm, Zam, sorry. Kind of last one when something's retired, pay the cost, retire another one. And I'll show you why this is important for my deck. Then four, Root Flares. They're so much fun. Pay the cost via unflipping its skill and retire two cards in a column. It's so much fun in this deck and you'll see soon why. Then two, Mahmud. On hit skill, retire. Then four, Seal Dragon Break Rise. The skill is in something else right on top of it. Give it plus 10k. Choose two of your opponents for your guards. Retire them and place. Replace the top four cards of his deck. I think four, yes. And replace it with two grade two units. So if ever your opponent is like Royal Paladin and they have two grade twos early game. And when you break ride, well, this is gonna be fun. Then, four, or no, my bad. Three, pain lasers. Strike, legion skill is that kind of last one. When this unit legions, retire two. Basically like root flare, except that it has a cost. Root flare is free. Then the second skill is to soul blast one. And it's a 23k attacker, but if you're not in Legion, it's a 14k attacker. Then four, ta -da! Yeah, this is actually one of the cards in the deck that makes it fun. Generation Break 1. When something is retired or removed from field via rear, plus five. And it's so much fun in this deck. Because I have four Twilight Arrow Dragon. Skill is when this unit un is boosted, Generation Break 1, Counter Blast 1, you basically get to retire one grade 2 or less rear guard. So, in a scenario where you have one of these and another one and another side of the field, hey, die. Okay, plus 5. Yeah, I love this card. I love these co this combo. It's so much fun. And last but not least, but obviously, it's Menace Laser Dragon. When this unit is placed on rear, if you have a Perdition Vanguard and card name, Count of Last One, retire something in the same column of this. It's this. So if your Vanguard is Menace Laser, and you call this to rear, and the opponent's starter is actually there, you can kill it. Good for you. And then, of course, four, Unflipper PCs. And three, Dragon Monk Jukuryu. Same as Tanaz, but grade 1 version. When something's retired, plus 5. Then 2, Athonic. This really helped in the deck because this is surprisingly counter blast heavy. So, when something's retired, put in the soul, unflip 2. Then 3, Stride Fathers. Need I say more? And three, Belog! Belog is a fun promo card and is your generation break one. When this card is put into Guardian Circle, if the card doesn't, it's not a reef standard like Tidal, Salt, or a lot of those Aqua Force cards, you can retire them. This card has saved me against a bunch of Shadow Paladin decks. And some people have been a victim of the restanding turn because I don't let them restand. <laughs> then, four heals. Four draws and eight crits. And that's basically my fun deck for Kagero. And it's been really fun messing people's fields up. Even if they don't have a field, oh well, I pressure you. And thank you for watching. But if you want a quick rundown of the deck, I will upload that in the next video. Thank you for watching.